Good morning, everyone. We're headed out in the backcountry today with my brother Rick, my dad Richard, and we're gonna do a little bit of snook fishing, see what else we can catch. It's blowing offshore, so we postponed our swordfish camp and uh, see what we catch today. So stay tuned here. Hopefully, we got some good action. So, I got a shrimp for bait. We got shrimp and pin fishing there today. We're gonna see what happens. It's been a while since I've been back here, but trying to spend a little more time with the family instead of uh, running charges all the time. So here we go. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, I missed him. I gotta put the camera down. Yeah, I can't. If you're gonna use that shrimp, you gotta keep it moving. Literally jig it. There's a bite on a pinfish. Bite on a pinfish. Could be a good fish. Oh. Oh, all right. Smoker. Get him, Ricky. Caught me nice. sleeping. Nice snook on for Ricky. <laughs> nice snook there. Woo, all right. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to get this thing in here. Oh, look at that snook. Nice snook to start the day. Check out Ricky. You know, Ricky's been running the Bud and Mary's YouTube channel, so check that out. That's a bean pin fish. His head's eating off. When I was a kid, my dad baited my hook. Now we bait his hook. Yep, we'll never get you. Might be a jack again, too. Oh, maybe yeah. not. Got something to say. Look, yours got a shark tried to eat yours. All right, so if you're back here, you know, backcountry fishing here in Amarada, there's jacks, there's snook, trout, redfish, tarpon, snapper, sharks. Jacks fight really good. We're gonna let them go though. Some people I know eat them on YouTube, but we ain't that far yet. We're gonna let them go. Some of these jacks that got gut hooked. We're gonna keep the ones that are gut hooked and dead for crab bait. We don't wanna feed the sharks back here. So we're gonna put them in the stone crab traps. See how they work for bait. I know they work good. I think a shark's just bait, whatever it is. I think we just got shark. Shark got him. So he just hooked a really good fish and a shark hit him that quick. There's a lot of sharks back here. This water's dirty. You don't wanna fall in here. Brother Ricky just put a whopper in the boat, you guys. All right. I jumped one up and losing him. He's got two now, three actually. I had to put the wood, I had to, put the wood to him because the sharks are bad out here. Dude, but we fish. got him. All right, here we go. We're gonna toss him back in head first. Sharks are bad, so we gotta give him a run and start, but you don't wanna stick your hands in. So long, buddy. There he goes. I gotta get on the board now. Ricky's got three, I got zero. My dad's got zero too. We got, we got jacks and catfish, but they don't count. Two here. There were two here. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think so. So 
So we've been moving spots. The jacks took over today. We're catching lots of jacks. My dad just lost a big fish. He thinks it was a snook. Ricky's got a big fish on now. This is a big one here. But we're not sure what it is. That's teamwork. Yeah. It's made, him, it's made him feel a lot bigger. There he goes. And you might be wondering when we release these fish and why we're not putting them in the water, reviving them. There's so many sharks back here, it's too dangerous. So you don't want to put your hands in the water with a snook or a red or anything next to the boat because you could get got. You don't want to get got, so. All right. Deep. Yep, he's gut hooked. We normally don't kill these fish, but we're gonna keep this one because he's gonna die anyways. We don't want to feed the sharks, so I normally never keep snook. This will actually be the first one I think I've ever kept. Never eaten one, but some people say they're good. They used to call them soap fish, though. If you cook them with the skin on, they taste like soap, so we're not gonna leave the skin on, I don't think, if we cook them. All right, well, there it is. Like Ricky said, it's usually catch and release, but uh, we're gonna keep that one because he's hooked deep. See how he turns out, so stay tuned. Here we go. Another nice fish. Net again. We had to go in there. We had to go in there. Get him, Ricky. Come on, hang it up on him. Oh, yeah, nice snuck. Nice snuck. Whoop. Oh, he's got it. Get the net, Dad, quick. Get the net. Look at that beautiful snook there. Oh, good scoop, good scoop. All right, All right there we there go. There you go. Boy, oh boy. Hey, Nick, what's going on here? Um, I haven't caught a fish, you haven't caught a fish. Ricky's putting a Get clinic off for us. <laughs> Look at that snook. What is going on? All right. So these are these are really nice size Alan Rada snook. Uh, my brother is whooping me and my dad. We have not caught one, he's caught five. you guys five. caught one yet? Nope. All right, I'm gonna bite away from All right. I gotta stop fishing. My dad said he's one bite away from being a hero. Remember that, we'll see. What we got on here? I haven't caught a good fish all day. Neither has my dad, but my dad's got one on now. Could be the good fish of the day. I don't think so. <laughs> he doesn't think so though. I think it's, I was hoping it was a glad, but now it's definitely nursing up. Oh boy. He thinks it could be a nurse shark. Last time I was back here, I said it was a sawfish, but it was a nurse shark with him. Oh. All right, it was a nurse shark. That does not count as the fish of the day. Sorry, Dad. Man, if it weren't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Look, I caught one. I finally caught one, guys. It took four hours, but I finally caught a snook. That one's so small, we call him a sneak. I think Ricky caught some big ones. It's a start. Reel in, reel in. This is a big fish. Stay on there, dog. That is not a jack. This is definitely the fish of the day. Our dad has not caught a good fish all day. This is it, I think. He ain't caught one in two weeks. He ain't caught one in two weeks, he said. Oh, it's a whopper here. There's a whopper here, guys. He's on the surface out there. 
This could be a giant snook. No, it's a big redfish. Nah, big snook. 30 pound red. There ain't no telling. Ricky's been on fire one after another. He needs to I get need, on the board. I need a net. I got the net. All right. He's moving too fast for a red. You're right about that. I think it's gonna be a big old snug. Oh boy. I can't move around. That's the oh boy. Oh, look at that snook. It's a giant snook. It's a whopper snook, guys. Look out there, holy moly. If I miss this fish, my dad could yell at all of us. <laughs> yeah. I got him, oh my God, I got him, it's snook. a giant. <laughs> that may be the biggest one I've ever caught. That's a giant snook, you guys. <laughs> Ricky that put is a jumbo jet. Ricky took us to one more spot. Oh my God, all day I've been breaking him off. Save the oh, best for last. I finally caught the fish. Look today. at that snook, you guys. We just don't catch giant snook like that in Almorada very often. No, that's a wild one. Inha an inhaled the pinfish. He said he's been fishing two weeks for a good fish. I would fish three weeks for that fish. He said he fished three weeks for it. I mean, we're gonna get awesome fish. Start, so. Here we go. One, two, three. Good way, buddy. There you go. Keep on kicking. You can see it kicking away there. Right, Just a, nice a, a giant for around here. Good job, Ricky. Good job, Dad. One of the biggest ones I ever caught. That's awesome. All right. Making memories out here. A special day. We were just a, just a bite away from being a hero. I waited three, that's the last three trips. I ain't caught a decent fish yet, and I finally got that guy. It was worth a three week wait. Yeah. And now we're back to reality. Look at this. <laughs> we have caught so many jacks today, like 50 of them. All right, so this is Snooky, guys. Casualty of war, he didn't make it. But instead of feeding the sharks, we're gonna eat him. 29 inches, so he's in the slot. I haven't filleted a snook since I can remember. Probably since like, probably since I was about 18 years old. So probably about 17 years ago is the last time I cleaned a snook. But we'll knock off a scale there and come following along here once we get it in there. Look at that. But a lot of fish are the same. Lots of scales on snook, though. All scaled up. I got that big old dorsal fin that you gotta be careful. That's what spines people a lot of times, and those spines right there will ruin your day. There we go. Uh, Ricky told you earlier that they used to call snook soap fish. That's what they said if you left the skin on when you cooked it, it would make it taste like soap. So since we don't want to eat soap, we're going to cut the skin off just like this. Almost got the spines on that side. Actually, I did. See that? He still got me. But there's the skin. Nice fillet of snook here. We'll just trim up this little rib cage. And we'll split it down the middle here. Just to get rid of that back, the spine here. Little pin bones, just like that. Now we gotta do the other side. So there's one beautiful piece of snook there, one right there. Let's do this other side, and we'll be ready to take them home. I think we're gonna fry them up. You know, our dad said when he was a little kid, he used to eat fried snook, and I think we're gonna have fried snook uh, tonight to remind us of the good old days for his stories. Ricky, when's the last time you ate a snook? Ever? I uh, never have. Never eaten a snook. You hear that, you guys? So Ricky catches lots of snook, like a thousand a year, maybe. I don't even know how many. And he's never eaten one, so most of the guys here do release them. It is legal to keep them when the season's open. But since we got one tonight, we're gonna try them out. rib bone out of there. That's the ribs, you know. That's, we don't want to eat that, so you could pick it apart, but I don't like getting bones in my fish, so we don't want it in there. So we're doing each side here. 
That's good there. And now we're gonna save that snook carcass right there for Sarah's crab traps, and hopefully we're gonna catch stone crabs with that snook carcass. But otherwise, we got all this fresh snook right here. We'll see you back in the kitchen, back at home, cooking it up, snooking and cooking. Well, there it is, some snook from today. We're getting ready to fry it up. We just got a new cast iron uh, pan here from Lodge, so big thank you for that. There you go. I have not used a cast iron very much, so we're just getting used to it. But uh, I, the you know, the first like, night he used it, it destroyed the kitchen, like spit <laughs> grease everywhere. So I had to invest in one of these. So now we got like a grease cover, whatever you want to call it. So a splash guard, spray guard, I don't know. But anyhow, me and Sadie are looking forward to trying some snook. I think Sarah's getting hungry too. We gotta feed that baby in there. So stay tuned here. We're gonna bread it up and uh, fry it up in that new pan. Sometimes oil and butter is like my favorite combination for frying things. That's just extra light olive oil and a big chunk of carry gold butter. Sadie, are you eating snack food? Mm. We got an egg and some milk here. Gonna make a little wash. Just, oh, just to give it a little bit of zest. There you go. pieces are really thick. Snook. I, I don't ever remember having it before in my life, and it's really good. It's like one of my new top favorite fish, I think. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, do you like the fish? It's good. It tastes like butter. butter. It's just really flaky and mild. Uh, we gotta give Sadie some. Oh, she ate a whole piece already. Oh, she already ate a whole piece, gone. but I didn't get it on camera because I was too slow. Sadie, are okay. you even spying on camera? Do you like it? It's good. All right, well, Sadie likes it. Sarah says it's really good. I haven't had snook, I think, 17 years now. I think I was probably 18 years old last time I had it in uh, Captiva, my buddy Casey and his family. I'm gonna put it on top of a salad right here, but I just wanna try the fish first without putting it on the salad, so here we go. Big snook piece going down. There you go. It is nice and white. Right there, you can see that. Fresh Alamara snook going down. Here we go. That's a big bite, I better cut it in half. There we go. Just like Sarah said, it's kind of buttery. It's really good. And I will say that cast iron gave it like a nice hard crisp edge on it when we fried it. Like look at the edge of that fish there. So that wasn't like a light fry, you know, that heat is even in there and it was going and cooking. It is really good. Really soft and buttery, so I'm surprised. A few times I had it when I was a kid, it was okay. I wasn't crazy about it, but that is the best time I've ever had it. I've only eaten it a handful of times my whole life, so there you go. Snook and cooking on Murata. Sadie, you know what time it is? Time to say goodbye. Say bye. Bye. All right, you guys heard her. She said bye. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Check out my brother's channel. You know, he's been running the Bud Murray's Marina channel. A lot of inshore fishing on their backcountry. Hopefully we'll see you down here in Alamrata soon. But for now, we're gone. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. We'll show that big snook one more time. Here we go. Bye.
Oh my God! I got him! It's a giant! <laughs> that may be the biggest one I've ever caught. That's a giant snook, you guys. That's a giant. Ricky that us. is a jumbo jet. Ricky took us to one more spot. Oh my God! We just got a giant All day, I've been breaking them off. Save the oh, best for last.